The purpose for this video is to investigate whether or not iron can be used as a substitute for aluminum in this process to produce hydrogen from water. The basic process is called CCHOD in which aluminum and water, three times more water than aluminum, can be combined with a catalyst called catalytic carbon to produce hydrogen that comes bubbling out of the liquid, out of the water, and leaves behind all the oxygen in the form of aluminum hydroxide, as shown in this chemical equation. The metal that we have chosen for this experiment is iron metal, and uh, as you can see, it's uh, 325 mesh and reasonably pure. There's about 500 grams of it in this container, and I've shown some of it here so that you can see that it is a gray color, which is to show that it is not oxidized. We want this iron to function as an oxidizing agent, meaning we want it to be oxidized in the experiment that we're going to perform, and that experiment is to determine whether or not iron can be used as a lower cost substitute for aluminum in a hydrogen producing reaction involving aluminum and water originally as developed, but now we're looking for substitutes for aluminum that could be a lower cost material in that process. We've heated a pan of water with catalytic carbon in it up to a temperature of about 84 to 85 degrees centigrade. The um, actual container is shown here and what we have done is uh, place a temperature probe in the water. You can see that in that location and uh, we've illuminated the surface so you can see any possible bubbles that might result and now we will add the iron to the mixture. Okay, we added about uh, 400 grams of the iron powder to the mixture. We'll uh, let that warm up and uh, get up to the proper temperature. Right now it's uh, had a cooling effect. It's about 80 degrees, 79 or 80 degrees now as a result of putting the cool powder into the uh, container with the water. So we'll put it on pause now and let it um, sit here and warm up for a few minutes and uh, then we'll give you a better report on uh, whether or not any hydrogen bubbles were formed. This is about five minutes later. During this time no significant bubbles have formed and even looking for some evidence of hydrogen formation we don't seem to find any with the flame test. So we have to conclude that iron is not as good as aluminum and really almost ineffective when it comes to producing hydrogen in water with the catalytic carbon. The experiment just performed shows that iron is not a good substitute for aluminum in this process. The following short video clip shows the production of hydrogen bubbles using the same apparatus at the same temperature but using aluminum and it will be seen that aluminum is far superior. Okay, I'm uh, holding the I don't seem to be able to get the flame to the bubble in time. I think you can see that though. It's clearly combustible gas. Once again, I'll show you the uh, temperature here. The temperature is only 75 degrees centigrade. Uh, what I'm showing you here is the temperature probe, and it's just uh, in the water. So the point 
is that uh, this is flammable gas and what it is is actually hydrogen. Okay, I'll back off so you can see the whole entire container and see approximately the rate. Now I should mention how we have controlled the rate of hydrogen production and that is I've used large granules. We typically use uh, aluminum with uh, granule sizes ranging from 30 microns up to 200 microns and uh, this is aluminum that's about 200 microns. What that means is the particles have a smaller surface to volume ratio and it's the surface area of aluminum that determines the rate at which this um, this reaction tends to produce hydrogen. So that I think uh, concludes the demonstration except to say that uh, we have also produced this outside in an open air environment at a much higher rate. We had a public demonstration here that uh, uh, showed anyone who wanted to attend that we could generate hydrogen with this reaction at a rate of more than 30 gallons per minute and that is a higher rate of hydrogen production than has ever been produced by any electrolysis system in the world for all the history of the world. So it was uh, literally an, a record-breaking event. So for something that is hydrogen on demand, it's uh, a process that's well worked out, well understood, and can be used um, by anyone who wants to commercialize this process by building hardware and uh, sending it into the world to provide uh, hydrogen at a uh, cost that is only traceable to the cost of aluminum since uh, the carbon is reusable and cheap and water of course is, uh, is relatively cheap. To learn more about this hydrogen production method you can contact Phillips Company or you can see other information that is posted on our website.